Hello. Hope you're all having a good evening. So, this is what you're looking at right here is a game called Taco Tom. And this game is not one of the terrible Android games we're looking at. Or, well, maybe it might be. I don't know. I can't really be a judge of that because I made this game. So, I figured off just to do a quick test to make sure everything was working properly and that audio levels are fine and whatnot. Because it might not be, actually. As a preventative measure, I'm going to turn down the level r right now. So the audio should be a bit less loud now. Hopefully it's a better mix of whatnot. So, yeah, Taco Town, worst game ever made. I'll go ahead and play just a little bit to show you how this game works. Basically what you have to do, and I'm going to turn the volume down on my computer because it's, I feel like I'm talking over it. So basically what you have to do, well, I'll show you how to play, is that you have to collect one of each ingredient and then you score a point. And then basically you get as many points as you can. And if you get any two of one ingredient before you get a point, then you lose. So It's a pretty simple game, but it's actually fairly challenging. Because right there I didn't realize I had already gotten a cheese and then that messed me up. So I gotta get the meat and tomato. Gotta run for the tomato and then there we go. That's a good setup. And then I lost because I ran into the cheese again. So this game is available on the Android Market or Google Play Store right now. You can download it for free. No ads, no in-app purchases, no anything. It's a hundred and ten percent free. So here we go. I'm searching for it on the Android Market right now, or Google Play Store. I don't know why I keep calling it the Android Market, but anywho, this is my game that you can see on the Google Play Store. One thing you might notice is the rating, which is, um, let's admit, not good. <laughs> so basically, one of the reasons I'm showing this to you is that I'm not telling you outright to go and rate this game five stars, because I'm not even sure if you're allowed to do that, but basically, um, if you go ahead and download the game if you want to and then go ahead and rate it a rating which you feel it deserves to be rated because I mean this isn't the best game ever made certainly it's a very simple mobile game but honestly I think it deserves more than 1.8 stars this person says Tom he can't get the meaning of the game so I did I did have a different how to play screen back then uh, which was more confusing admittedly um, here are the other games I've made. This is Ring Tapper. This is extremely simple, and I like I made it in a few hours, and no one's even rate, rated it. It has like magnitudes lower downloads than any other app. And then this one's Everyday Stacker. This is probably the one I've spent the most work on so far, and as a result, has the best rating, 3.5 stars. Had more, um, but then people rated it poorly, so. This person says it cannot even start, and he's sorry to give me just two stars, but it cannot start at all. So, at least he was kind about the fact that the game didn't work in his device, and I don't really know why that is, so I haven't really made any fix for that. But, so yeah, basically, go ahead and rate my games however you feel like they should be rated. doesn't really matter to me, but and I'd like to see a rating of above, like, three stars for Taco Tom and whatnot. So, that's basically a little introduction, but that's not the main part of this stream. Main part of this stream is a whole bunch of crappy Android games that I've downloaded over the past few weeks. There's 40 of them on my device. In fact, I have downloaded so many that I cannot go and download any more apps. Like, my phone is completely full. I can't even update my existing apps. Like, if I go my apps here, and you see installed as it loads, as it quite slowly loads. I imagine one day it'll be finished loading. Ah, uh, here we go. As you can see, these are 
um, apps which are trying to download but can't because there's not enough space, including another crappy Android game which I found, but we're not going to be able to play because there's no space to download it. And also, an updated version of the software I'm using to capture the Android screen, which also can't update that. So, basically, I don't really know in which order to go through these games. I guess we're just going to go through them in alphabetical order. First one's called Seven Days. It has something else. Um, it's not the full title. It's up. Oh, I guess it is just called Seven Days. All right. I thought it was called something else. Oh, that's the wrong folder. Okay, first game of many. Oh dear. Knights at Fernando's. And is that supposed to be a seven to the left of knights? Um, I don't know. Anywho, already I'm very unimpressed here. <laughs> well, actually, I'm impressed in how bad this is. They've managed to take a, what appears to be a landscape picture and put it in a portrait screen. Also, hello, Emerald Rocks. Let's go ahead and play. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So that's the Flappy Bird sound effect. Um, you can go up and down, and I died. Wow. Let's play again. I don't know why. Well, I don't know what I was expecting with this one, um, but th this is, somehow I had incredibly low expectations, and this game, which has just thrown an ad, unlike Taco Tom, this game has already managed to perform well worse than what my expectations were. I don't know why I'm playing it a third time. There isn't anything to talk about in this game, it's all just terrible. Uh, the only thing I would mention is that it, I don't like how left and right are on the right side of the screen, and then up and down are on the left. That's, that's pretty awkward. Sort of be nice if it was the other way around, although it would be even nicer if the game was never made in the first place. Okay, next game is called... It is called Acid Dragon Fight Crazy Trip. Now... If that doesn't sound like an interesting game, I don't know what does. Let's go ahead and play that. Alright, this is a landscape game that's easy enough to fix. In fact, I already did. Okay, so... Yeah, alrighty, we already have an ad, that's wonderful. And we have this interesting dragon with some flowers in the bottom and oh well, yeah let's just press the check mark another ad thank you I guess um, so I think the thing in the center is supposed to be like a screen I of like a map I don't apparently it's untitled they couldn't be bothered to name the levels what 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 is happening here what Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> uh, restart it, guess. This is tilt controls? Oh, okay, hold on. You hold... Okay, I think I'm beginning to understand this. You hold the left side of the screen to go up, and then you tap the right side of the screen to shoot fireballs, and I can't close the ad. There we go. whole bunch of mushrooms have appeared, and it's completely uncontrollable and I'm getting so many ads and then like this is one of the worst controlling games I've ever played in my life I think I'm just gonna sit here for now there we go we've avoided one obstacle let me just fly up for no reason at all oh okay you can collect any mushroom so the big mushroom is not like something you hit Okay, I'm not impressed with this game either. Um, what is... Not Solitaire. What is the next level? What is this? Oh. It's literally, we just changed the background, that's all. An exact same game with, with unplayable controls. Yeah. 
so that one, not good. Not good. Maybe Andrio's world will help us. Certainly not going to be a Super Mario clone here, with the name of mix between Mario and Android. That's not possible at all. Welcome to Andrio's world. Oh, it's connecting to Google Play Games. That's not really what I want to do. Um, welcome to Andrio's world. This cool jump and run game features 45 levels to play. That's actually a lot has configurable controls, offers challenge games against players from all around the world, has global high score lists, and more. Have fun with the game. Well, already this looks ten times better than the other games. In fact, that's completely incorrect. It looks ten billion times better than the other games. It even has graphics which aren't objectively terrible. Although I did lose there, because what I thought was the jump button was not. That's the crouch button, okay? So we jump. Yep, this is... Definitely Super Mario clone. Not sure about the level design. It seems a bit... Not the best right now. And I died there. Doesn't seem to be any sort of mushroom or anything you can like, at least I haven't found one yet. What does times two do? Points get doubled. Use an energy shield? Um, no. Game over. Um, can't say I was too impressed with that game. Certainly better than the first two, but I still don't like it. Not good. Not something I would play on my own. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this one next. This is Bad Nerd. This is different from the other games in that it's actually an MMO, as far as I can tell. Um, which, if it loads, you might be able to see. Yep, new game online. There is an online option. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and try that. Let's play this online. Um, deathmatch. Um, okay, it's loading. So... Train your own dragon at schoolofdragons.com. That's surely a real thing. So, oh dear. Um. Okay, it's. Oh, okay. Tap one time for a basic attack. Um. Still pretty loud in my end. Um. Let me know if the audio levels are okay. Hopefully they are. If, if my voice is too loud or too quiet, let me know and I'll change it. So tap one time, and then two times, and then three times, and... Oh. Uh, okay, just... And I have low energy. Hold the B button to block. Okay. How do I run? Oh. Okay, there's like a hidden D-pad on the left there. That's not very good. Um, call home to save game? Okay, game save. Oh, there it is. It's like 10% opacity there. Uh-oh, is this someone? Is there another person playing this game? Nazi face. And Nazi face has killed me in one hit. Wonderful. What a game. So I'm dead now. Um, oh, you can buy things. I really don't care. And now, I'm dancing for some reason. Okay. Why is the camera zoomed in? Why can I not move up? Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> I think I'm... No? Okay, now we're loading something. I don't... 
I have no idea what's going on right now. I think we've entered a glitch state already. Look at that face, by the way. That is a face. If I've ever seen one. Good news is I haven't seen a face, so... For all I know, that could be what every face looks like. <laughs> Bad nerd isn't responding. Gee. I didn't notice. I'm gonna report that. And that did not... Oh, okay, now we're closing it. Except it's still running in the background. I accept your terms that I haven't read. Um, no description, just send it. Thanks, your report is being sent. And then, still hasn't exited the game. Which... Oh, that's why I wasn't responding. It was trying to load an ad for the past ten minutes. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I sort of have control now. Let's try to... Well, I was going to say let's try to kill that person, but then he disappeared. He spontaneously combusted. Um, let's go down here, I guess. There's a person. He's also Nazi face. Is everyone just Nazi face in this game? And the camera is absolutely terrible here. I cannot see anyone. I move like half the time. There we go, I landed a punch. I have done something. And apparently he's in inventory? I... Um, he has no weapons, and he, I don't think he has anything. Can he just kill him? Why does his health keep regenerating? It's weird. And I, I have no idea what's going on right now. Apparently I'm dancing randomly. I don't want to be dancing. I want to be attacking people. Like this other Nazi face. They're all just Nazi faces. And I don't know why. And it's running at like two frames per second at the time. What? What the heck is this? Okay, so this is like the map, I guess? Why is... What did I do to open the map? I don't think I pressed anything different than before. And I died again. And I can't really be bothered to continue. Okay, so... First four games, all of them have been bad. Um, this next game is Bear Mario with the weird pedo bear uh, thing as the logo. I I am confused. I'm guessing this has been renamed Bear Mario. Although it appears to be renamed B. Here's an advertisement. I don't know why you'd put your advertisement right on top of your name. But whatever. Level selection, level one, I guess. Oh. Epic fail. Was it really an epic fail, or is that just your game? So, this appears to be one of those I want to be the boshy type things, and a really bad one at that. I'm really not a. F oh, I messed that up. I'm really not a fan of these games in general that you have no way of being able to do the first try, the first time you play them, like, there's literally no way to beat the game the first time you play it, so the only thing you have to do is just jump and pray that you don't kill yourself, and, and I'm not really a fan of those, it's all tr about trial and error, um, but yeah, this is not even half as good as one of those, so let's quit out of that, uh, but don't worry, there's a sequel. I hope you like Neon Cat, because here we go. Now Pedo Bear is on fire, and where, where, WTF. Um, I guess this is the language select. I'll be Scotland. <laughs> Uh-oh, run away from the London bus. Can he jump on top of the bus? 
that. What did what did that do? Okay, I think I might have exited the games. Okay, that's weird. If you jump in the right spot, it goes straight back to the main menu. Don't know what that's about. So, um, let me let me try Italy. Let's see if this is any different. Nope. Now we've just put. Now we've just put the Colosseum on your game. Still, same bad graphics as before. Very slightly upgraded, but it's still, still terrible. The sky is still just a plain blue graphic. And half the time when I press the right button, I go left. I cannot say that this is a good game, because it is not. It is terrible. And as a result, I will quit. So, next game is called Boyfriend Gone Crazy. And it's by Quick Sailor. So, this game is the first of two games in what I would call the kissing genre that I'll be showing tonight. Um, basically, the goal of these games, well, here's the instructions that'll explain it. Do naughty things while you are with girlfriend. Yes, seduce other girl without getting noticed by girlfriend and other people. There you go. Now you know how to play this game. Spin to win, no thank you. Uh, we're at the naughty restaurant. Surely that couldn't be a clue as to what I want to do here. So, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, that face is just... <laughs> that face is... I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm going to press the coffee buttons. They don't do anything. Um... Oh, hold on. I have to touch her feet. Okay. I get this. I'm guessing I can't let the waiter see what I'm doing here. Ah, oh, I see. I get it now. So you have to fill that bar up on the top before we run out of time, presumably. and avoid the girl on the right and the waiter. So, this is... This is pretty easy, I think. Although I might actually run out of time here because I didn't know what I was doing at the start. Okay, game ends. Please rate my app if you like it. Um, yeah, I'll rate it. Why not? I will rate your game. You ask, so I'll do it. You ask nicely. Boyfriend. <laughs> well, I'm not the only one with the same opinion. That's good to know. That is very good to know. Um, let's see. The other person did not leave a review. Okay. So, boyfriend gone crazy. Seven games through, and they're all bad. And let's do number eight here, which is coloring pages something. I don't know. Coloring, well, I don't think I need to explain this. Um, might help if I put it in portrait mode. So yeah, coloring with a whole bunch of Sonic characters. So, okay, we'll color this picture. And, wow. Wow. What a game. Just pick the color, and then color your hedgehog. And then you give him orange eyes. Red, nope. One of the red nose, there we go. And... Hooray, now you can make your design that sort of, sort of looks like it's on a four-colored t-shirt or whatnot. Um, and you can save it. Save to pictures. Hooray, I'll never look at that again. Original character, do not steal. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just, yeah. And I appear to have broken it, because now there's just a weird blue rectangle. Oh, well, okay. It's being very slow about this. 
Um, that could be due to um, Moby's in which is how I'm capturing this. That does uh, cause a drop in frame rate in some occasions, so it's not completely the brain, although it seems like um, I guess it's I guess it's working as loosely as you can use the word working. It is working. Um, so yeah, can't say it like that. This next one is called Demon Wars, I think. First time startup. Okay, Demon Wars RPG. Character select, or no, chapter select. That would make more sense. The journey begins. I don't care about reading your story. Sorry. Okay. To first two people, they both say nothing. Nothing. That's great. He's not moving, is he? This this is going to. Okay, so someone died. And I can't be bothered to read this. And now the princess has turned evil. And now the princess is not evil. And I'm, I'm just going to skip through all this. So I want to get to the gameplay because I want to see how bad that is. Here we go. Hmm, it appears that we are out of time. Okay. No, that, that's unfair. That's unfair. I will not end the game yet. So I guess this is like Fire Emblem. Actually, I remember I searched for Fire Emblem Clum to find this, I think. Oh. Well, I skipped half the uh, tutorial, so... That's great, I don't know how to play. Um, no, that's probably an enemy. How do I... Where is my character? Is that is that me? No, that's a jewel. Um, where am I? Summon. I will summon a pep a peeper. No, I won't. I only have one crystal. I'll summon a slime then. And you can go there. Well, I really did it. Wow. I really did it. I I I'll special there. And now I have two slimes. Yes, the special is a clone. So, to be fair, by skipping through most of this and probably not giving this game a fair chance, but I kind of want to go through these kind of quickly because I do have 40 to go through. We're only at number 9. Um, so let's see. I'll special again. Is why not? Or, I don't uh, I see drag and drop, and then special, and there we go. And turn. Turn one. Okay, there's a random shark in the water. And everybody's just doing nothing. Hooray. Turn two. Uh, I want, how do I attack? Um, special. No, can't do special. Um, is that, is that like a forest in the way there? And I can't get through it. Now why can't I attack this guy? Why is that? Info. Oh, I can only attack left and right. That's stupid. Does that mean I'm going to have to go all the way or How am I even going to get to this guy? I guess I'm going to have to cross the water there. Because unless... I can't go there. So yeah, I'm... Well, I'm literally going to have to go all the way around this forest. Um, which is annoying, to say the least. Fast AI, please. Okay, I can't. I can't cross the water either. Um, I would guess I have to get this um, crystal up here. This 
probably something crystallize. I don't know what that did. Turn four. Um, okay, I don't know what crystallizing did because it didn't allow me to get to this guy. There, as far as I can tell, there's literally no way to get to the first enemy here. This is fantastic level design. I mean, I can understand, like, bad level design in a platformer, but this is like a tactical RPG. How do you mess up the level this badly in level one in a tactical RPG? Um, maybe... Maybe you have to get the shark. I don't know. Special. I don't even know at this point. Um, oops. Go there. Attack! Okay, let's attack the shark. Alrighty, I have one hit point. The shark has seven. That did not end well. So I can't get the shark with my um, blobs. Um, oh, I have to summon new people. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Let me summon a goblin here. Wait, and then... Uh, let's summon a peeper, I guess. Yes, this is the new Fire Emblem game. I have, I, you know I was talking about being a Wii U developer. Well, I got secret access to the new Fire Emblem game, alpha version. You're looking at it right here. Um, no, I don't want to do that. How do I attack? Um, move there. Attack this guy. Okay. So I can attack the slime quite easily. Hooray, my first victory! So yeah, this is just a pretty standard tactical RPG as far as I can tell. Um, this is probably the best game I've played so far. Um, but these games usually take like a while to play and kind of want to go through the other games, see what they're like. So we'll end for now. That's the best game so far. You've earned my not completely terrible seal of approval. Now the next game is called Dinosaur Stacker, and I actually paid 99 cents in real United States dollars for the joy, for the joy of being able to play this game, Dinosaur Stacker. So presumably you stack the dinosaurs. Indeed, you stack the dinosaurs, and that's that's about it. I should really sh sue the developers of this for copyright infringement. I mean, didn't they know I already made Everyday Stacker? I mean, how could they come out with Dinosaur Stacker after I made Everyday Stacker? Although, to be fair, I might have made Everyday Stacker first. And the dinosaurs are going to fall over. I'm way off, and... Okay. Well, I don't think I need to play that again. I think... I think that game has played itself, practically. Um, yeah, not good. Next game is called Duck Hunter Revolution. It is a lost gem, apparently. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see. Duck Hunter Loading Revolution? Nope, just Duck Hunter Revolution. So th this is literally just tap the ducks. Which I'm not even doing a very good job at. I'm really... Really not shooting those ducks very well. Yeah. 
area. I got one set. There we go. Do I wish to save scores? No. Do I wish to replay? No. Again, I think that game pretty much speaks for itself. Um, next game is Ebola the game. Um, I'll play that in just a second. Got to do one thing really quickly. I'll be right back. Ah, the joys of allergies. Okay, so this next game is called Ebola the Game. So, hot on the heels of the Ebola epidemic. If you would come, well, it is an epidemic in some places uh, in West Africa, but it's pretty much just a scare in the stateside and, and in most developed countries. But yeah, uh, let's make a game to get some profit off of that. Uh, we can go in either New York or Christmas Town, so we can either infect 7 million people with Ebola or a Santa Claus. Which one's worse? Your choice. Fun fact, you will lose all gameplay bonuses when something happens. Um, <laughs> so, okay, what is going on here? So, you play as um, the needle, and you move it like one mile per hour one mile per year and then you have to there you're shooting these tiny little things and you have to hit the Ebola viruses with them uh, I got zero points by the way I guess if you just spam there you go if you just spam the, um, the vaccine enough times you'll get him where did that one go Okay, that one is bouncing ludicrously high. You know, my, I, I can't even get that one. It just flies up. And also, I'm pretty sure every single game I've played so far... <laughs> Why is there a horse head on the Ebola virus? Why is that a thing? I earned two coins. Retry, no. I was gonna say, I think every game I've played so far has ads. And at least one game has a horse head. Um, so yeah, that's not good. Um, here is the second game in the kissing genre that we'll be playing this evening. Also by Quick Sailor. You must have ad activity declared in AndroidManifest.xml with config changes. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Can't even develop the game properly. Okay, the, the couples want to enjoy the trip in the bus by sharing the kiss on each other honeyed lips. What? Honeyed lips. Okay, let's cover our lips in honey and then kiss. Have fun by making them kiss but without knowing it to other travelers. Why are we so sad? Uh, did we lose? I think we lost. Um, no, I'm not going to rate you. Um, so I got 124 points for some reason. Let me try this again. Also, is there, um, why is there no sound at all? I, I guess there's just no sound in this game. Also, the person is not looking away. So, like, I cannot kiss. At all. 
because and now they're now they're frowning and I can't kiss because the person's not looking away it's like this game is even more broken than the other kissing game I've played that is that is an achievement this game is an achievement in just how bad it is that is impressive um, next game I expect good things for the next two games uh, the first one is called Hank the Dank Tank, which is probably the best name for any game ever made in the history of ever. Yeah. Alrighty, so there we go. That is Hank. He is a tank, and he is dank. Let us start from the last level, which is apparently the first level. If first time, click here. Dank the Hank, Hank the Dank Tank is loading. Click the top right button to pause or restart, hit the side buttons to turn. Okay. So this is like, sort of, sort of like Temple Run, I guess. And that you keep running, or you keep driving until you die. And apparently making that turn was impressive. The longer you hold the turn, the faster you turn. Okay. Are you ready? Let's make this turn. Wow, that was a dink turn. Reach the hangar to win. Okay. You're pretty much the best thing ever. Thank you, Hank. You are a dink tank. Reach the hangar. Crush everything. Oh no, I I died. I ruined, I ruined Hank. He is no longer Dink. Well, that was a short level. Let's do level three. Uh, now we've got to jump. We have got to jump. We are officially jumping in Hank the Dink Tink. And uh, now there's a cow in the way. I have knocked a cow off the map. And I am pretty much the best thing ever, yet again. There's the cow again. <laughs> you can't turn in the air, by the way. <laughs> cow has returned. The, the cow apparently falls less quickly than I do for some reason. That's not how gravity works, but... Uh, there's a piano. <laughs> you know... Hank the Dink Tink, he's really a good piano player, so sometimes he has grand pianos littered about. And now there are Spartans everywhere. Wonderful. And I've fallen off again, so let's restart. I'm actually sort of enjoying this in a weird sort of way. And now there's a giant Spartan coming up ahead. I'm going to knock him over. I have done it. Got to make a hairpin turn. There we go. Oh no, I fell. Oh, uh, almost. There's the piano gyrating around in space. Oh no, I fell off again. That Oh no, there's like five grand pianos there. Okay, I ha I have to hit the grand pianos. I have to hit like the domino of grand pianos. It must be done. I keep missing that turn. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite of the game so far. This level's pretty challenging. I keep messing that up. See, at least this game has gameplay, which is something most of the other games I've played didn't have. Like the Fire Emblem clone had gameplay. This game has gameplay. Maybe the Mario clone had gameplay. I don't know. Piano Havoc! Oh wait, did I beat the game? 
I am on level 6. Enter level. Level 7. Do it. Go. Go. Can I not do that? Is there no level 7? And can I go to level 5? Yes, okay. So, I have beaten Hank the Dink Tank. I have 100% completed this game in like two minutes. I am... I wouldn't say impressed. It's an interesting experience for about two minutes. My favorite game so far, but, you know, I have high hopes for Illuminati Simulator 2014, which is the next game we'll be playing. Welcome to Illuminati Simulator 2014. Oh dear. Spooky, spooky, very spooky. Oh no, it's a Illuminati. Spooky, spooky, very spooky. What's that? It's Illuminati. Okay, spooky, spooky, it's Illuminati. I am an Illuminati hunter. My job is to find the Illuminati so we can destroy them. Click where the Illuminati is hidden to win. You have 10 seconds per level. Clicking in the wrong place will make you lose 1 second. Also, this game is made by Quayity.tk. It's not quality, it's Quayity. Oh dear. Um, where do I click? The Illuminati. Oh, I see. You have to find a triangle. There's a triangle. It's the Dorito, of course. Okay, where's the triangle here? Is it... That mac and cheese. No. That, no, that, no, that's not a triangle. I refuse to believe that is a triangle. And that's not a triangle. Is that a triangle? Where is it? Oh, it's the witch's hat. Let me see. Game complete. Score 1 out of 5. Illuminati rating 75%. Do I dare to click again? I like the, the Eiffel Tower itself is Illuminati. There we go. I exposed the Illuminati. I already saw that one. Um, here's... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> why would... Why? 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 Hold on. The Illuminati got away. Here's Bill Nye the Science Guy. Hopefully it won't kill your ears. Jesus. There's his nose. That's the Illuminati. Here's Bill Nye landing. Is his face Illuminati? No. Is that... Hey, where is it? This face is Illuminati! <laughs> no, I'm not playing you again. I... I don't know. Why Why are we doing phones now? That's not good. I don't know what I was expecting. It was not that. I'm sorry about the really loud noise, by the way. I had to turn the volume down completely. Um, so the volume's back up now. Um, that was a thing. That's all I can say about that. Next game is in portrait mode. It is not light. Lift. It is. We're lift. We're class of clans. Three ads. Thank you. It is Curdy HD Adventures. You know. There's Kirby and Smash Brothers, but that's not. That's not anything. Curdy. Curdy's where it's at. Curdy is where it's at. Let's do hard. Tap anywhere to start. Okay, tap on the egg to prevent it from smashing into ground. Oh. How does this work? Oh, you have to tap... No, you don't have to tap both at the same time. Okay. I see now. 
So yeah, Curdy HD Adventures. So if you thought it was going to be a platformer, you were incredibly mistaken. That's too easy. So this is the quality of product you can find when you search for random things on the Google Play Store. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Um, we're two-fifths of the way through already. Somehow. Next game is Microwave Simulator. Yes, you heard that right. Microwave Simulator. Loading, make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi. Um, okay, I should probably do that. I'm actually running in 4G right now, which is not good. Because I can't be running in Wi-Fi. Okay. I be connected to Wi-Fi. I be connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, no, I don't want to connect to Google Play. I am connected to Wi-Fi now. Um... I am sure. I am sure I connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, maybe I need to close it and restart it. I mean, we've got to give Microwave Simulator its fair, its fair shot. So is all. Powered by Unity. Okay. Okay, I guess we have to connect to Google Play here. What is it downloading? Oh, it is downloading Sonic Fast Run. Okay, now we have 41 games in the crappy Android game showcase. Because somehow it found the space to download it. I don't know where, but... Yeah. Sign in. I will sign in to Microwave Simulator. Yes, please sign in. It's doing something. It is flashing. And we're, is it still loading or has it... Oh, okay. It's doing something. This, this is the longest loading game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> From what I can tell, this is at least the third loading screen we've seen. And it is still loading. Still loading. In fact, it's even loading still now. That I don't think that makes sense grammatically. Uh oh, has it loaded or has this? Um, oh, here we go. Easy peasy RPG. The ad. No thanks. After about 17 years, Microwave Simulator has loaded. Let's go ahead and play. So, already in this title screen, we can see no microwave, but flowers. And now I have this guy. Uh, choose object. Okay. Um, microwave the horse. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've got to insert the horse. Hold on. The horse must be inserted into the microwave. If it looks like I have no idea what I'm doing, it's because that's the case. I really do have no idea what I'm doing here. Need to get that horse into the microwave. Come on, horse. Oh no. The horse is gone. I'm microwaving nothing. 
Oh, if you press the open button, it opens all the way. Um, that's a fact that would probably help. Hold on. Let me try... Let me try this again. Okay. Choose object. Horse. Microwave horse. Open microwave door. Horse inserted. Close microwave door. 666. Six minutes, 66 seconds. Let's microwave this horse. Is anything supposed to happen? Is there going to be like a massive explosion in a few seconds? Or is it just going to be the horse sitting here for like two minutes? Or not even two minutes, six minutes and 35 seconds. I have no idea if I should be expecting anything to happen right here. Okay, I'm going to give it until six minutes to go, because that'll be at least a full minute. And then once that's done, I'll microwave one more thing after the horse. And I'll do it for like ten seconds, and we'll see if that does anything. Open. Yeah, that, that literally did nothing. The horse, if the horse is even still alive, it's Nang. Like, it didn't cook the horse at all. I'm, I'm disappointed that I'm not going to be able to eat my horse meat hamburger. I'm highly disappointed. Actually, no. What is top microwavers? Hold on. Top microwavers. Oh, this is high scores. So, apparently this game has scores. I don't know. <laughs> Um, no one in my circles has played Microwave Simulator. Jeez, I can't believe that no one in my circles has played this game. Although, to be fair, I don't think I have anyone in any circles. Who is the top microwaver of all time? Finley Leverton Hill with 26 points. I don't understand how you get points in this game. And let me try this one more time. One more time. Let's try. Um, let's microwave the car. Okay, let's open. Insert the car. Close. One second. Alrighty. The car is cooked sufficiently. Nice microwaving. I completed round one. All right. So, what? I have lost the connection. Um, okay. Um, I don't know why that happened. Hold on. Um, did it try to go through Wi-Fi or something when I connected? through Wi-Fi. Oh, I bet it did. That's why it started downloading uh, everything. I bet you. Hold on. I know it said I needed to be connected to Wi-Fi, but I'm going to turn that off. See? See if that might help restore the connection. Um, do it. Oh, I need to press the button that says reconnect. That would make sense, I suppose. My phone is buzzing. That might be a good sign. Um, 
USB connection failure. How has that happened? How has there been a USB connection failure? Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> and let's, let's not play Microwave Simulator anymore because I don't think it's happy. I do not think it is a very happy thing right now. Okay, so now I've closed everything. Um, let me actually open up Moby Zen again. See if that might help get a good connection. Okay. Let's try connecting again. We're now connected through USB. Okay. Um, already we lost the connection like a half second after. This is weird. Um, I don't know why this is happening. Um, maybe I need to reboot my phone. I don't know. When in doubt, restart. Okay, so I guess for the next few minutes... I gotta wait for that to restart, so, um, might as well show you the little bit of progress I made on Hoverboard Penguin uh, earlier today, thanks to having a snow day today. Uh, let's see, load this one. Let's take a quick break as the phone restarts to show you what progress I have made. Um, let's see. Primary screen, yeah, okay. Um, is this thing always going to be... Okay, no. We're good. Um, so. We can't really see the chat right now because um, the window is covering it up, but Hopefully you can see the game. Um, I modified the level a bit. This is not a final level in any way. I was doing some testing, so like it's a bit weird. Um, but changes um, from when I showed this off last. Um, the level is generally the same. It's mostly sort of like background stuff. Like you can now control um, the hoverboard penguin with a controller which works fairly decently and you can bounce off walls it's a bouncy wall it spins you around sort of realistically I'd say I don't know getting getting Pinguino as I think he might be called to move at the right angle is pretty challenging um, code wise so I've been fiddling around with it um, these things work they didn't before they now bounce Penguino in the proper direction. And I completely broke the teleporting, by the way. And also that happens when you die, you know. Instead of immediately being reset, you fall down a bit, and then you reset. And that is pretty much it, honestly. Not too much different in Hoverboard Penguin, just... Just making the game a bit more playable, I'd say, before I work on, like, actual level design and whatnot. Um, oh, one other new thing is that the um, Comic Sans font number on the top right, or the top left, now shows how fast you're going instead of, um, I think it was how much in, like, the X coordinate, the X coordinate of your joystick or something like that. I don't know. Um, any of you, it's now your speedometer, and ideally there'll be like a HUD on the bottom of the screen or something. Um, but phone is booted up, so let's try reconnecting through MobyZen again. See if that works. Go ahead and close that out.
Yeah, I was showing off Hoverboard Penguin because I ran into some technical difficulties, meaning that um, phone lost connection with Moby's in, and I don't know why. Although it's probably due to um, having to turn Wi-Fi off to play Microwave Simulator. Switch over to Android. USB connection. That is, I don't know why that is happening. Um, let me try unplugging and replugging the phone in. Wonder if my USB cable has suddenly died. I don't think it has because it's, it's like it's connected as a media device. It's charging. It's like the cord isn't broken, but. Um, connection method settings, like, it's connecting via USB exclusively, that's how I want it. Um, no, I don't want to record the screen. Um, I've done those things before, I, I've set this up, it was working. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, okay, that was a quick failure. Um, uh, let's see, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'll tell your mom I said you're welcome again, Emerald Rocks. I'm glad to help however I can. Uh, two updates need approval. I don't really care. What I do care is for this to work, because if this doesn't work, and I don't know why, um, the only thing I can think of at this point is to close and reopen the Windows application. Sorry about these technical difficulties. I have no idea why they've, they've happened. Never happened before in any of my testing of this, so... Quite bizarre. And oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Remember how I mentioned that Moby's and had an update that I hadn't updated? Remember how I mentioned things were updating on their own? Well, I bet Moby's and updated, and then it broke everything. So now that we reopen it, maybe maybe it'll realize we're running a different version of Moby's in now, and it'll work. That's my theory as to why everything exploded. No USB connection failure. I have no idea why this has suddenly become a problem all of a sudden. It was working fine before, and now it's not working at all. Quite bizarre. Um, well, let me see what's going on in like the update situation. Maybe it's like downloaded but not installed the update or something, and it's being very weird about it. Let me see. Let me see how these updates are doing. Although you can't see them because MobyZen's not working. Which is a bit unfortunate. I guess while we're waiting, I'll go ahead and play a MIDI. I have no idea which sound font is loaded, so it'll just be a surprise. Um, let's play... I don't know. Um, actually, it's not playing anything right now because I have a message. 
Attention, unable to find software on your computer that can recognize your device. Um, Service Pack 3, Windows Media Player version 10 or higher for Windows XP or Android file transfer for Mac OS must be installed. I, why is that a, an issue? Why is that suddenly an issue too? And the MobiZen update has still not downloaded. Okay, stop downloading everything. Do not update anything. Run MobiZen. Open that up. And I have to type in my password again. And then connect. Okay, we have something. Okay. It's working again. All you had to do was make the update stop. I guess. Well, let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Um, I'm not going to go back to Microwave Simulator because I think we've seen pretty much all there is to see of that. Um, let's go ahead and play the next game, which is called Monster Girl Adventure. When do we get Ted and Steely and Bingo? I don't know. It depends on whenever someone makes it. Um, Ask Pinguino to get on that, I guess. We have a frames per second counter at the top left in this game. It's nice. Uh, let's see. I like how we have a, a D-pad um, in the menu here. So just do new game, I guess. Oh no, you have to use the... Oh, never mind. You don't have to use the A button to select. Okay, we interrupt your... Usual programming to bring you this emergency broadcast since the existence of something. Population and country increased drastically. As of today, over the 80% natural environment became the sanctuary of wild extra species. Thereby leaving... Okay, please... This is going too fast. Please stay at home if possible. This looks like Pokemon. If I remember, um... This is exactly like Pokemon from what I saw of the screenshots. Loading... Yes, this is exactly like Pokemon. Loading. And here comes the person to take me to get my monster girl, presumably. I am Miss Brown, Coach Cultural Exchange Coordinator. According to my um, papers, you apply to take part in Cultural Exchange Program. There can't be any mistakes. Your address was clearly stated in the paper. It's too late to change your mind. You are forced to come. If you do not come, we will execute you. Brookie is allowed to host only one girl, so choose carefully. Which one would you choose? Would you like to take care of Mandragora? No. I, I want to see all of them. Why? Um, Kitsune. No, how do I... Kappa. There's one called Kappa. I don't think I could not take Kappa. I have to take Kappa. There's like no way I can't. Excellent. As your personal coordinator, I will keep an eye on you from now on. Now to start off, I have a small errand for you two. I was attacked by a wild harpy on my way here, and she managed to steal some of my papers. The loss of such documents is completely unacceptable. Should have backed them up. That's why I want you to bring them back. That harpy flied towards the park to the east of here. If you run into trouble with wild extra species, just let your girl do the business. Extra species is not just the name. They are capable of things unavailable for humans. It's fine as long as it's self-defense. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's just skip through the text now. Uh, it's still going. Okay, now we're good. 
these controls are not good. I can tell you that moving is a pain. Like half the time you go where you don't want to go. Put that down in not a very accurate D-pad. Frame rate is not happy. As you can see in the top left, it is sort of chugging. Um, can I talk to you? The only road in town is blocked due to landslide. I'll manage something, so rest until then. Okay. So I can't do anything right now. Is that what this is saying? I have to wait until... Everything is so slow. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now we can get a battle. Wild Harpy engaged. I found her. Kappa is ready to protect. We must fight. We must, we must punch. And, yeah, this is... Quite literally... A carbon copy of Pokemon. Oh, not... Not a carbon copy, but a pretty close copy of Pokemon. So, I mean... You know, if you really hated the idea of emulating anything, like you were the most anti-piracy and everything in the world, I guess this would be a maybe substitute for Pokemon instead of running it in an emulator on your phone, although... I don't know, when you're this close to Pokemon, you know, it feels like copyright infringement territory almost. Um, so... I don't know how long this will be on the Android market, although uh, that weird Super Mario 64 carbon copy clone that Tim played a while ago is still on the Google Play Store. So, this could be on for quite a while. Um, I'm not going to play any more on the basis that it seems like it's pretty much Pokemon and you probably know how that works. and It's probably not too different. Um, next game, this is called Motorbike Light. It's by a company called Bacano Games. I've played a few of their games. They are probably the worst developer of products ever made. Like, the worst developer of all time, I would say. Um, the reason I would say that is because they have a ton of games on, like, iOS, and I played them on my iPod Touch, and zero of them worked. Like, they would all crash after playing them for a few seconds, or they'd be completely littered with ads. Um, this game in particular was ported to the PlayStation 3 because the developers were mental for some reason, and I don't know the exact review scores, but I think GameSpot gave it like a 1.5 out of 10, so... That tells you the quality we're dealing with here. Um, basically, this is just a Trials clone. It's as simple as that. So, here are instructions. And yeah, what a level. What an introductory level here. I actually beat that one fairly easy. Um, I'm sort of expecting a glitch to pop up here, which is not necessarily related to... Okay, why are the tires doing that? That's weird. Um, it's a glitch not necessarily related to the game, but it seems to be a thing with my phone, where sometimes if you hold a button down for long enough, it just stops working. And... Sometimes it presses, like, random buttons. It's it's weird. And, like, some games I can't really play because of it. And it's a bit disappointing. And I don't know what's causing it. 
Yep, now available on PlayStation 3. See? Um, take my advice, don't buy it. It is not a good game. Hopefully this is enough to persuade you of that fact. Also, I should point out that uh, Moby Zen is several seconds behind in capturing. Like I died. And now I <laughs> died there. So it's way behind in capturing. I don't think it's happy with um, this game. And to be fair, I'm not really happy with playing this game either. In fact, um, actually playing it right now is the best it's ever worked. Um, it's actually almost sort of competent right now, which is scaring me, because I don't really want it to be competent. Um, I want it to remain the worst game ever made in my mind, or at least one of the worst games ever made in my mind. Um, so I'm probably going to stop playing this now. Yeah, I don't know why it's like two sec. No, oh, hold on. It is caught back up. Okay. We're in real time now. So the next game is called O Un. Clearly based off of Kim Jong Un. As I nearly dropped my phone. That's not good. Um, so it uses um, what I like to call the Forza font. And I hate this font because it's in. Forza Motorsport is like one of the four fonts you can use to put on your cars and the textures and it's like insanely overused and it just makes me hate this font and also every other of the four fonts that are in Forza. Uh, Okay, so apparently the storyline is that President Obama is holding a party where there's cake and everyone's invited except Kim Jong-un and he's not happy about that. Oh no, it's the helicopter game. Or jetpack joyride. To be more fair. And he just cries like a baby. Play again, I guess. About. Designed and developed by Max O'Neill. Um, okay, that is the person who you want to avoid at all costs. Like, if you see Max O'Neill, just run away from him. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Artwork, artwork created by Mario Barraza. Same deal. Run away from him if you see it. A note on the ads. Please click install and play the games advertised if they look like something you could enjoy. It's how us developers are able to survive and continue making and releasing free games. Okay, so I'm now going to explicitly have a mindset to not click on those ads especially the ads for games which I might like go and give us a history of Un play damage control mode to build Un's legacy oh I guess we can't uh, I guess you have to pay for that which I'm not gonna do <laughs> I hope you don't hate me for not deciding to pay money for that game. We are halfway through. There are 20 games through, 20 to go, 
Next one is called Overcraft. Um, I think this is like Terraria Minecraft thing. Enter town name, Tenopolis. Create it. Tap to start. Okay. Drag the... So you drag the D-pad, blah, 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 blah. Let's just play the game. Uh, saves right as it loads. Wonderful. I am walking backwards. Wonderful. Um, how do I... How do I attack anything? How do I cut down the tree? Do I cut down the tree? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I see. Or do I? I tap the button enough times, will the black disappear? And what's F? I cannot press F, that makes me go left. Like, the D-pad is so ridiculously in the wrong... Yeah, that's one of the things I was mentioning about that's weird with my phone. Like, I wasn't holding the D-pad there when it got stuck there for a few seconds. I think that's an issue with my phone and not the game. But I'm not... I think I fell into a pit and died. And... I can't be bothered to play this game anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Not a good game. You have not caught my attention. Once you play 20 of these games, and you're starting to get tired, and then you realize, oh no, there's 20 more. You get just, you start to get fed up with them a bit. Um, let's do the Fool's Quiz, I guess. This is party games, by the way. Find the first control... Find the first contestant and start the quiz, or quit and select a new game. I like to quit, but I don't think I can. List the names of different geometric shapes while, while using... I can't even talk anymore. While using a really low-pitched voice. Start. Okay. Square. Circle. Triangle. Dodecagon. Trapezoid. Parallelogram. Diamond. Ellipse. That's enough geometric shapes for you. Next contestant. Hold your breath while acting as if you're trying to look really far. Okay, use your imagination for this one, because I don't have a face cam. Okay, I did. I also realized um, we're in the wrong mode. There we go. Okay, one more. List a bunch of cancelled TV show series while acting as if you're really cold. Okay, I don't know TV shows much, so... But I know Seinfeld was cancelled, though. Seinfeld. That's a terrible impersonation of being cold. Uh, Seinfeld is a cancelled show. And I'm cold. There we go. Okay, one more. Sing any song you know while keeping your mouth closed. Okay. Okay. I'm not doing that one, sorry. <laughs> not doing that one. Go on. What is Chicken Bomb? Um, it's Hot Potato. Well, then what's Hot Potato? I mean, spin the wheel. What is the wheel? It is... Pass to the right. I have passed to the right. 
which goes back to me because I'm the only one playing. Okay, one more game. Quick draw. I was literally just press the button first. Wow. Okay. Um, one more fool's quiz. One more. Oh, you can only play one game per day. I guess there is no more fool's quiz. Or maybe I am the fool for wanting to play more of it. Next game is called Paya Paya, which is maybe a clone of Puyo Puyo. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know for sure. Please enter a nickname to use. Two to eight characters. Okay. Ten. Uh, no. Why do you want to make every character capital? That's weird. Okay. So, I don't know for sure this is actually going to be a crappy Android game or not. This might actually be competent. Um, here's Little Red Riding Hood for no real reason. Um, so, yeah, this is literally Puyo Puyo. Like, not even doing anything different here as far as I can tell. Um, I do wish I could skip through this more quickly, though. Like, I, I know how Puyo Puyo works. And, therefore, I know how Paya Paya works. Okay, it even uses the same sound effects as Puyo Puyo. It's not even... This isn't even a clone. This is plain as simple copyright infringement. Okay, let's play the game. Random battle with players. Let's do it. Oh, this is online. Okay, let's play against someone online. I've never played this version of Puyo Puyo before. I don't really know the controls. They were um, talking about them in the tutorial, but I wasn't paying attention, of course. Um, that person left. I don't know if there's going to be another person. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a person. I am ready. Let's battle... Oh, let's not. Well, I guess if you really want to, you can go and download Paya Paya. Oh, this guy's ready. Here we go. We're playing. We are playing Paya Paya. Oh dear, this guy knows how to play the game. Uh, I'm still getting used to the mobile controls. And... He's, he's already done a four combo. Oh dear. I can do a two combo. That hasn't helped. Oh dear. I'm just impressed he was able to put the blocks down that quickly in a mobile game. Maybe I'm just really bad at this. Um, I'll play one more game against this guy. And then I'll try to find someone else. Um, there we go. I need a yellow, please. Now I need a green, and I didn't get a green. And... No, I don't need... Now I need a red. I think I need one more, and I've got that. So, this should be at least a four combo. It should be something. And he's managed to five combo in that same time. And I've lost. 
I must say, uh, beyond the fact that this is clearly, you know, not legal in terms of copyright laws, it's actually quite a competent game. Like, graphics are good, the game works properly. I'd say of all the Puyo Puyo clones I've played on Android, this is probably the best, although I'm not so sure about that direct copying of the audio. It's probably going to get them in trouble. If they replace the audio, this might actually be alright. But this might be the best game I've played so far, in that it's actually sort of okay. I might actually keep that on my phone. Now, the next game, I don't remember what this is called exactly. Mo Real Squash Sports. Now, the reason I'm showing you this game is because for some reason, when you search for 10 Zone Games on Google Play, which I will now do right now to demonstrate, inexplicably this game shows up. <laughs> Like, you have the games I've made, and then there's this one. So, I figure might as well play it, see what this is about. See why this is in the Tin Zone Games game list, even though it's not a Tin Zone Games game. It's by Aptica, which is not Tin Zone Games. Um, that's an ad. And enter my name, okay. Tin in Steelian. There we go. Select Tin and Ste Country. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I'm from none of these countries. Where is the United States? Um, I guess the UK's closest. Select opponent country. Tin and Ste versus Daniel. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's do the real squash sports 3D or whatever it was. Swipe finger to serve and to play shots. My turn. Okay, I don't really know how squash works. Although apparently that was a foul. Okay, uh, my opponent fouled too, so I guess that's alright. That's definitely a foul. My turn. I, I, I don't know what happened there. That was a bit weird. That's my ball. This just feels really janky, like, like it doesn't want to be working. foul. This, that game was a foul. There's still like 16 games left to go through and it's... Uh, that was real squash something. And this is Roller Coaster. Alrighty, I guess I'll be the girl coaster. Let's do this. So. Oh, I completed the level. Okay. Uh, Gummy Drop is apparently better than Candy Crush, and it opened that ad up automatically, which I did not want it to do. So, this appears to also be a Trials clone. Incidentally enough, well, I guess not all games like this are Trials clones. It's just like 2D side-scroller racing game, essentially. And, y and you can jump. 
And that's apparently a level where you just hold right for two seconds and you win. I'm not going to play that anymore. Um, okay, the next two games, I'm, I'm excited for these next two games. Unfortunately, Roller Coaster has stopped. Um, these next two games, I have played... I have definitely played this first one. I've sort of played the second one. This is called Slam Dunk Champion, and this might single-handedly be the worst Android game I've ever played in my life. So, let's go ahead and play, shall we? And hopefully you'll see why this game is so terrible. Okay, so we can select our player. We have Hassan Ekran and Guven, also known as Superman from Turkey. The Professor from Germany, The Mad from the USA, or if you want to be technical, The The Mad from the USA, The Elevator from France, The Octopus from Senegal, and that's it. So we can be Lamine Ndiaye, I don't know how exactly you pronounce that, and then you know, people have names. Um, I'll be The Mad, I guess. You can try it. Click it. Oh no, this is not Jammit. This is much worse than Jammit. Here we go. This is the basketball arena. We have circles and stars going everywhere. And now the sun <laughs> has entered. Here is a giant basketball. Here we have three CPUs and the user. It's not the player, it's the user. Slam dunk contest, I think that says. Zoom in on the players here. I don't know if you can see it that well on your screen. But basically, all these people look like corpses that have just died around. They've just been dead for like months and have been resurrected. Uh, to play this slam dunk contest. I think you'll get a good view of these people um, in a minute. We can skip through all these. There's the octopus. And here's me. The <laughs> roller coaster has stopped again, by the way. The, the mad. Here you should get a good view, if I remember correctly. Uh, there are the judges. You have Ronald, Mark, Call, Carol, and Lamar. And it's a disco now. Get ready, look at the faces. Ah, oh, look at that. Graphics. This game has them. They definitely nailed the corpse look. So this is the computer. He has done the slam dunk. Now we get a replay of it. Look at those physics. He is happy. He is doing this dance thing. It is a disco. He got 39 out of 50 points. That is pretty good. Okay, this guy's coming from the sideline. Uh, he did a spin. <laughs> and he scored. Let's get a replay of that. <laughs> he might have gone through the net there. Just a little bit. I got 40, all eights. Eights across the board. Here comes the third CPU. Also does a spin. Gets the ball in. It's a disco again. Let's see that replay. Also notice I haven't gotten a chance to play yet. Because all the computers get to go first. 
Also, I don't know exactly what you're referring to and how I was able to read it, unless you're talking about Slam Dunk Contest, in which case I just guessed. I figured that might be what it could be. Uh-oh, he got a 46. That's going to be a tough score to beat. And now, now it's my turn. So, I think you get to pick your starting position here. I've done it. I think that says let's do it, if I remember. I've also played this on iOS, so um, the ads aren't there all the way in that version. Uh, the scores, it's really hard to read the white text on your end. Um, should be fine, I think. Um, I'll see what it looks like on the stream. Um, oh, the total score. Um, and it might just be like, I don't know exactly, maybe just my phone's a bit brighter or something. I don't know. When you, let's put a car in the way. So yeah, okay. Uh, throw, I guess. Uh, okay, that did not work. Unless it bounces in, can we do that? No, we cannot. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Um, okay, now we're running. <laughs> and we've hit the car. Okay, car, run, throw. I I can't throw. Why can I not throw? Okay, run. If I remember, do you swipe? Okay, there we go. 360. Do the 360, A. And I I lost. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4. I got a 4 out of 50. I failed. I did not do it. First round. I'm not doing so well. And I don't think I'm going to do a second round. Um, basically, if I remember correctly, the way the game works is once you jump up in the air, you have to do like some sort of combo that you have to memorize. Uh, and then he'll actually throw the ball and do a stun or something, and you'll get points. I showed this game to one of my friends like a few months ago, and somehow he actually figured out how to play it. And I don't know how I managed to do that. No, don't open music. Now you'll see that it's only Roller Coaster Tycoon soundtracks on there. Okay, next up is... Um, hold on. I should get you the full name. Sorry. Because it's not just Slender Booze. No, don't under, under and no. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons now. App info. It okay. It is Slender Booze. I think it's like Slender in Booze Town or something. Basically, I try to look for Slender in Delaware. However, I think that's been taken down, and instead I found Slender in Booze District. So I think this is by the same developer as Slender in Delaware. BGM Apprehension by Kevin McLeod. And Competech saves the day yet again. Still loading, by the way. Oh, we have a gun. I have not played this version. I did not have a gun. I actually did play Slender in Delaware a while ago. There were no guns in it. Frame rate is terrible. Um, so, uh, find all clues how to neutralize Slenderman. I killed a person. Aren't you supposed to just be finding clues? Like, I don't think you're supposed to have a gun in Slenderville or whatever. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to shoot- I didn't mean to shoot you, I'm sorry. Oh no, they're zombies! This is not how Slender works. I can't turn, turn. Killed two people. Up oh, there's Slender. There is the Slender Man. 
Can I shoot him? That's easier said than done, though. Um, and just angle. Quickly now. Quickly. Quickly. Shoot him. I don't think we can shoot Slenderman. No. It's not happening. I dead. Tap download Jeff the Killer game in UK and USA. Um, no thanks. I wouldn't say all games that use incompetent music are terrible, but most are. I'd say, actually, I'd say probably, and I don't want to play this anymore, by the way. I'd say there are two games that use um, incompetent music that are not terrible. Those games being Everyday Stacker and Taco Tom. Um, I will admit to using, to have, to have, I will admit to using his music in some of my games, because I couldn't be bothered to license real music. Although I probably will license music for Hoverboard Penguin, or either that or make my own, because I do have a budget for Hoverboard Penguin of like around a thousand dollars maybe that I could use for assets and whatnot. Um, so yeah, Slender in Booze District. It's terrible. Who could have thought? Um, next one is Sonic Bonus Stage. If I remember correctly, this is literally just like a tech demo of the accelerometer, and that appears to be what this is. I am Hyper Knuckles, and if I use the accelerometer, I can move around, and I can jump by tapping on the screen. Aren't you glad this was put on the Google Play Store? I mean, think of all the apps that are on the Google Play Store. Like you have Angry Birds, Bejeweled, Fruit Ninja, Doodle Jump, Real Racing, and then, you know, Sonic Bonus Stage. That fits right in. Absolutely. We are down to 12 games to go. Next one is called Sonica Festival. Let's go ahead and start it. Is this game too hard? Not really. So basically, this is Fruit Ninja, a ripoff of Fruit Ninja, where you tap Sonic fan characters that are <laughs> horribly drawn. And you just try to get the high score. This is literally the whole game. Just tap the characters and avoid tapping the bombs. I guess we should see what happens when I tap a bomb. That happens. I'm not going to play any more of that. Um, so yeah, that was one of the worst yet. Although, Spongeball Z could give it a run for its money. Also, I think he accidentally didn't um, do Portrait there, but I think you got an idea even without that. Um, and yeah, Spongeball Z. Do I need to say anything else? I want to experience, please. Get ready. Try again. Now, oh, here's an ad, by the way. Okay, so running into anything that's not a coin kills you, apparently. And you get an ad again. So I guess that's a challenging jump there. And it, it adds every two seconds. It's so annoying. You know, this, this music is actually not that bad. <laughs> Unfortunately... The same cannot be said... Oh, I messed up again. Same cannot be said for the gameplay here. I have no idea who thought it would be a good idea to create Spongeball Z. Okay, we, 
Roller coaster has stopped again, just in case you wanted to know. I will beat this level. And there's an ad, mid-jump. There we go, we've done it. Completed. Oh, there's more. There is more. Oh, we... Now we go from right to left, randomly. Because, you know, why not? Have more ads. Okay, I think I'm done with Spongebob Z. I kind of liked the music in that game, honestly. Um, but I didn't like the game, unfortunately. Next up, Stray Dog Simulator. I actually paid a 99 cents for this game as well. This and Dinosaur Stacker being the two games I paid money for. This is actually um, one of the top uh, downloaded Android games at the moment, believe it or not. Choose your breed. Bulldog, Dachshund, Dalmatian, Doberman, German Shepherd, Greyhound, Husky, Jack Russell, or Labrador. Um, which one of those looks closest to the Franker Z dog? Um, for reference, I should put in Franker Z in chat. Oh. Oh, there it is. Um, let's see. Which one of these dogs looks like Franker Z? Um, I think the Greyhound, actually, even though Franker Z is not a Greyhound. I don't know what breed he is exactly, but I doubt he is this. Missions defeat three dachshunds. I must kill three dachshunds. Also, um, I don't care about tutorials. There is like a whole myriad of buttons on the right side of the screen. Like, I'm afraid. Okay, that girds, I think. And I can barely hear. Is that a giraffe? Nope, that's a greyhound. Hold on. Is that a dachshund? How do I... Okay, that's peeing. Um, that's turbo. That's jump. That's bark. That's attack. What does that do? That plays a weird sound effect. And that's dig. Okay, this is my territory. I'm marking it, but it's not counting. Um, so here's a person. Can I kill the person? What's gonna... Oh, come back here, please. I did it! Oh no! The, I need to kill this husky. Who's going to die first? I think it might be me. Uh, yeah, I have, I have died. The husky has killed me. It is a sad day for dog kind. I have heard of Dog's Life. I've never played it, though. So apparently I need to dig three places, pee in three places, and then kill three dachshunds. Uh, let's see, can I, can I mark this as my territory? Territory. Dig. Look at that digging animation. Look at that digging animation. Uh oh, no, run away from the big dog. I need to find the little dachshund, and I can't. Hold on. Why are you running into the guardrail person? And the controls, by the way, are terrible. Like, 
I, I can't turn at all. And now the German Shepherd's going to kill me again. Um, I have died. Again. Reach level 80 to expand your dog pack. Oh my god. There are, there's 80 levels in this game. You have to survive by doing things. Um, so basically, there is a game here. Which is unfortunate because they don't feel like playing it. I don't know, maybe I'm not giving that game a fair shot, but... I'm getting pretty tired, and we're getting sort of close to done, but... Still have nine to go. Actually, ten to go because the Sonic game downloaded. Um, this one's called Super Mother. I don't know. <laughs> Level one. I don't. Game over. Okay, so apparently you throw forks, and you have half a second. I was gonna say about half a second to throw a fork at the pots, but not even. Um, I guess you tap the pots. Tap on the pots. No, what even is that? I don't even know what that thing was. So, I feel like um, there's supposed to be Super Mother off screen to the left here. And the game is broken to the point where it's off screen. And if I tap on the screen, Super Mother will move there. And therefore, basically, I just have to tap where things aren't. And then I'll be okay. Although now it's just stuck in launching pots near the top the whole time. Oh, it's a shoe! I see it. Wow, that... Looks like a CD player or something. Because it's, it's like the wrong direction and it's been... Stretched really badly and... Okay, Super Mother. Not good. Who would have thought? Um, here's Super Smash Brothers. Although not quite. By Impact Game Studio. Super Smash Clash. Free version. I have tried this before. Um, you'll be pleased to hear that there are five whole characters of which I've unlocked one. So I'll be the character. And five whole stages. Let's do the clearly battlefield ripoff stage. Get ready. And fight. let's fight. So yeah, this is pretty much an Android version of Smash Brothers with only five characters, which... And I feel like you need to have at least eight characters for a fighting game. Also, two people already uh, died. And the guy said, with a toothbrush, for some reason. And now he's giant, and his head has exploded, and I've gotten an ad. I won. Oh wait. Hold on, I forgot. Gotta switch to um 
portrait landscape mode. I'm sorry. Um, Choose your character. I'll play again. Although, you really didn't miss much. Um, I guess I should mention the controls. Um, I'll do the other stage. The controls are not good. As you might expect. So there's a guy in a pogo stick, there's a penguin, and then there's a carbon copy of me. Um, controls work better than they did in the Slender game or the Stray Dog game. I'll give it that. It's sort of kind of playable, although I do feel like it's just sort of luck based as to what is going on, and now the game is broken. Well, this is a quality game. I like how one person isn't getting damage from this, and yet the others are. And buttons don't do anything, moving around doesn't do anything, actually, moving around might do something. Um, now I'm blue, or someone's blue. Um, oh well, yeah. Quite, oh! Okay, that happened. <laughs> I lost. Um, upgrade to full version, play as all five characters, no thank you. The developer, at least the developers, put effort into that game. I'll give it that. There was some amount of effort put into the game. And it's better than... It's better than average. If average is the average game I've played tonight. So it's better than most of the games we've seen so far. And this is probably not. This is Super Sonic Runner. Um, so it's like a cross between a ninja and Sonic, and also Sanic. Um, it seemed like there was a bit of Sanic in driving the car with the title screen earlier. Uh, desert mode, forests and spacer locks. We gotta go to the desert. Tap to start. Oh dear. So I can throw on shurikens. And this is another running game, as one might expect for the name uh, Super Sonic Runner, I th or whatever it was called. Whatever this game was called, it had something to do with running. And also, I think the legitimate Sonic Runners game came out today, supposedly. have not tried it yet, though. And yep, I am Sonic riding a motorcycle. So if I just... Um, oh, this is like super power here. Holding down this button. And I died. And the uh, level stopped existing. So I got 2,032 points. That's... Um, a number completely irrelevant to anything I care about. What was that called again? Supersonic Runner. Okay. Supersonic Runner. Next game is called Taco Miners. It appears to be in portrait mode. It It's raining tacos from out of the sky. And I was wrong about the name of this game. It's not Taco Miner, it's Ako Miner. Let's press the weirdly shaped start button. Um, I don't, I've got it. What is... 
Okay, there's 20 seconds left before the gravitational singularity. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, I'm guessing you just tap the screen to go down. Um, oh, you get upgrades or can. At ye old shop, you can sell ore or upgrade. Uh, no, you can't upgrade. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, inventory. Dirt. Okay, dirt. Can I do anything with this? I don't think so. Also, the game appears to be formatted incorrectly. Like, everything is weird. That's a great sign. Uh, I changed colors randomly, and... No, I'm... I have to retry again. Great game. Excellent video game experience. Thank you for that. Um, perhaps this will also be a video game experience. By Duck Kicker Games. This is Toontown 2D. So if you were upset about the cancellation of Toontown, how they shut down the servers, don't worry. They've brought it back. This is Toontown 2D that you can play on Android and iOS too, I believe. And it's made with Click Team Fusion, the same software I used to make Everyday Stacker and Taco Tom and, and Ring Tapper. Uh, and Dead Giveaway is the ludicrously large D-pad here that it happens to be a bug in Click Team Fusion. That low DPI phones like the one I have just, you have an enormously large D-pad for some reason. And also some of the sound effects are from the default click and play sound library. So, let's move around here. Let's go to the Zany Gardens. I can barely see where I am. I'm actually not going to spend too much time playing this game because there's a revamped version made by the same developer, which I have not played, so I'm interested in seeing what that's like. Um, that's the only button I can press, and it brings me back here. So let's uh, restore my laugh and my gears. I want... Give me a laugh and a trap. Give me one of everything. I don't know what's going on right now. I think I need... Oh, I remember. I need gears, so I have to... I have to avoid these guys, so... Don't... Oh, no. I, I did not avoid them. Um, and I... Have to go back, so... You can tell the developers of this game put a lot of effort into the graphics. Okay. Now we can buy things. Okay. So buy things at the gag shop. And by the way, I never played Toontown before, so I have no idea how similar this is to the real thing. Now let's go to Toontropolis. See if we can actually make it there. That would be nice. Uh, throw gags. Throw a pie at him, he explodes. Quality product. Quality. Oh no, went the wrong way. Okay, the plant did nothing. Throw a banana. That does nothing. Lure. Bear him with money. Nope. Gotta throw a pie at him. It's the only thing you can do. We've made it. Oh, no, we haven't. I lied.
Okay, we've made it to Toontropolis, I guess. Um, that's nothing. I can just go beyond the um, level, okay. That's the gag shop again. What's this? Um, trolley games, okay. So. Catch the apples. We. I'm having so much fun right now. Can't you tell? I'm really enjoying myself. I think I've had enough of that, except for the fact that I haven't, because they've made a sequel of sorts. Toontown 2D Plus Mobile Edition. Let's make a new game. This, um, looks different. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, that is one way to imitate uh, 3D gameplay. What is my tune task? Recover a blackboard eraser from the cogs and get a point, one point laugh boost. Too many ads. Let's go to the speedway. Carts, please. Oh, I've been in portrait mode this whole time. I am very sorry about that. Forgetting to fix that. I bet you missed the whole first game, too. Although, it wasn't that much to miss. Also, they fixed um, the D-pad in this. Which is something of interest. That means I should look into that. Um, maybe they released an update that fixes that problem. In fact, they probably did. And when I say they, I'm referring to Click Team. With Click Team Fusion, not the developers of the game. Can't go to Rustic Raceway for some reason. There's your map. No, I, I, I don't want to go to headquarters again. Leave. Let's go to Happy Harbor. There is... Oh, so now, now it's just... Now all you have to do is just dodge them that come very, 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 very slowly down. And now it's like comically simple, although we'll run into one just to see what happens when you do. Throw a pie. Oh wait, I can't restock, please. I can't restock. Oh, we're back here again. Oops, I accidentally closed the game. Oh no, now we're playing tractor pulling. You know, there are a lot of games that, a lot of genres that don't really have any good games. You know, tractor pulling's one of them. Like, you know, there isn't really any good tractor pulling simulator. And then I found this one, and all my tractor pulling dreams have come true. My life has been fulfilled. I would like the John Deere 60. I'll buy, I'll upgrade the engine and the transmission. And let's pull. A hundred and three events. That is a lot of events. Let's go to, um... I think these are real county names. I, re I recognize some of them. Uh, let's do Arustot County, because that's the first one I saw. Um, sure. 
I'll go with deep. No, let's go hints. Harder tire for harder track. Um, I'll just go with defaults. Why not? Is it a clock or is it a tractor? Okay. Hold to increase throttle. Uh oh, we, we are wheeling. We are wheeling this tractor. And you just press left and right to vaguely steer left and right, although the steering wheel doesn't really move at all. Um, I came in fourth out of sixth. Um, that's wonderful. Except for the fact that I don't care at all. Um, good news is there's only two games left. Roller coaster has stopped again. That's the fourth time. Thank you for that, though. Um, this might be a crazy taxi ripoff. Maybe, you know, Sega Taxi, Zega Taxi. You know, two completely different things. So that actually, this is Zega Taxi by the name. Um, loading, uh, touch to turbo, tilt to move. I'm using tilt controls. Oh wow. This this actually has graphics. Steering is very sensitive by the way. Um And also frame rate's not particularly good, although that may be Mobius's fault. So I picked up a passenger. Um so yeah, basically you only go in a straight line essentially in Zega taxi. Oh, I crashed. And here's an ad. Um, so again, that's better than average of the games I've played so far, although it's not a game I'd really want to play. Um, I think that's pretty much all to see there. At least you have the main idea. Um, last game. No, Actually, no, there's one more after this, because it downloaded randomly during the stream. Um, this last game in the folder is Japanese, um, but when I searched for it in the Google Play Store, um, it was called Mega Daddy, and the reviews were terrible, so let's see. I have switched to landscape. Look at that face. This XML file does not. So we have like, as and like an ASCII face for Mega Man. I don't know. Alrighty. So I can move. Um, okay, this is actually a platformer. And I can shoot that guy. So this is actually, this is actually a Mega Man ripoff here. It's like an actual ripoff instead of something that just takes the graphics and does something incredibly stupid with it. Um, controls are act. Oh, uh oh. This could be a problem. Yeah, I died. Um, the controls are actually sort of competent. At least compared to some of the other things I've played.
I'm actually sort of impressed. This is um, better than I expected it to be from what I remember the reviews of it being like. Oh, I did... I messed up again there. Oh, well. Okay, let's do a speed run. Mega Daddy speed run. Here we go. Actually, I'm doing better just doing a speed run than actually fighting these guys, although it might backfire here. I'm... Yep. Yeah. Thanks for that health right at the start of the level. Jumping, um, yeah, I actually take back what I said about the controls working. Um, jumping, like, works half the time, about. So, yeah, that is Mega Daddy, I think. I think that was Mega Daddy. I'm not 100% sure. Um, actually, let me search for it. Mega Daddy. Yep, there it is. It is definitely called Mega Daddy. And it has uh, three stars out of five. Although apparently 3.0 is the same as 3.5. I don't know how that works. Um, what is this even a game? This game is so bad my girlfriend just had a miscarriage. Okay, I I wouldn't say it's that bad, honestly. I mean, is it great? No, but it sort of kind of works part of the time, which is better than a lot of the games um, I play today. So, actually, hold on just a second. I want to. I saved a few pictures of like um, some of the games I play today. Their Google Play Store listings because they were. Very interesting. Um, so let me go ahead and pull those up. Um, I don't think I have any photos on here that I would not like you guys to see. But just in case, I'll put on the hold on screen. Ah, uh, yeah, not really. Okay. So... Uh, this is Coloring Pages Sonic Apps. Coloring Book as a free coloring game cartoon fan. And, yeah, there you go. That's the wonderful little logo screen they have there on the top. Absolutely wonderful. You know, I could not make something better than that. No way in the world. Um, there's Boyfriend Gone Crazy. Touch the boy and make to play with his girlfriend's friend. Increase the meter. Here's Hank the Dink Tank. Hank the Dink Tank don't have no brakes. He just runs things over. Uh, there's a screen capture of Everyday Stacker where I got exactly 420 points. Uh, there's a picture of the first 20 games I downloaded. Another picture. Uh, here's Duck Hunter. You can play with one talk on screen. And let me let me make that a bit bigger here. There you go. You can play with one talk on screen. And then that's a pretty tall tower. Here's Sonica Festival Game Free. Sonica and friends are coming. Let's fun now. There it is again for some reason. Here's a similar game that I didn't play. Um, Let's fun with the new adventure of Sonica. And then my fonts messed up for some reason. I don't think there's any more here. Yeah, this is taking screenshots of Taco Tom to put them on uh, the store listing. Why do I have one Reddit photo saved? I don't know why. And there it's a picture of a car with 
a car on top. I don't really know how to explain that, but there you go. Well, time to play one last game. Number 41, or maybe not. Did it not download? Hold on. Hold on. Where is the Sonic game? Sonic Racing or whatever. Um, has it completely gone away? Does it no longer exist? I'm, I'm going to have to say it no longer exists, so I guess we're not going to play a 41st game. Um, so yeah, those were some crappy Android games, um, most certainly. Um, I'd say the best out of the bunch uh, would have to be Paya Paya, and Roller Coaster has sat for the fifth time. Um, that I don't know why it keeps coming back and going away. Um, I'd say Paya Paya was the best game out of the bunch, followed by probably Hank the Dink Tank. I thought that was funny. And then, um, probably the worst game out of the whole bunch. I don't know, they were all terrible. <laughs> There's no way you can pick one game that was the worst out of this. Um, but yeah, Paya Paya. Excuse me, Paya Paya is actually sort of a game, unlike most of these. Um, so yeah, I kind of liked that one. All the others I didn't like. Except maybe Demon Wars was alright, maybe. Maybe if I gave that game a fair chance it would be alright. Um, maybe the same with Monster Girl Adventures, although Pokemon. Real Pokemon would probably be a lot better. Um, probably should have given Stray Dogs some a bit more time. Um, maybe I'll do that later. I kind of like the idea of going uh, through like the Google Play Store, finding some really bad Android games, and then going and then streaming them on stream, seeing how bad they are. Um, I feel like playing 40 of them at once is probably too many. Like, if I do this in the future, it would probably be like five to ten and then like do something else afterwards like do a bit of bad android games and then play millennium auction for example which is a game which i promise i'll play one day eventually um but not today um it is midnight and i have school tomorrow because i don't think they canceled it again due to snow i don't think they'd have reason to because most of it melted today um so i hope you enjoyed these Android games for as much as you could enjoy them. Um, I don't know when I'll stream again because I'm terrible at figuring these things out. Um, until a half hour before I streamed today, I didn't think I was going to stream today. So I'm bad at predicting that stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll stream soon. Um, my Sonic Rider Zero Gravity package shipped. Um, that was probably a mistake in buying that, but oh well. Haven't played it yet. Maybe, maybe I'll play that on stream one day eventually. Um, and yeah. Millennium Auction is a myth. Um, maybe that myth will become reality some other day, but not today. It will remain a myth for the time being. Um, thank you, Emerald and Crazy and Buttspot. Um... So yeah, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching, um, and good night. Boop, boop, boop.
Oh, <laughs> 